Welcome to the world of speeder diving and flying. Becoming a speeder pilot will open up a whole new world of underwater exploration and adventure. As a speeder pilot, you will enjoy reduced gear worn and increased speed and range in your diving, not to mention the added fun of flying through water. Once you become familiar with operating the K-10 and how to perform the many flight maneuvers, the extent of your imagination will be the only limit to what you can do. The following is a step-by-step -step procedure for pre-flight and setup of the K-10. These checks are performed before each dive to ensure that all the systems on your speeder are functioning properly. The first step is to move all of your equipment to the launch area. Next, lift the seat and rear fairings for installation of the forward and aft batteries. This is a good time to verify that the vent caps have been replaced on the battery lids. When installing the aft battery, make sure the cannon plug faces to the right. For the forward battery, the cannon plug should face forward. Once the batteries are installed, connect the male to female plugs by pushing together and rotating to the locked position. Never connect nor disconnect in or near splashing water. Next, attach the regulator to the air cylinder, leaving the cylinder valve closed. Install cylinder into the cradle of the vehicle. Run the low pressure hose forward into the cockpit. Attach the hose to the fitting of the system regulator. Switch on both main power breakers under the seat fairing and verify full battery charge. Keeping clear of the propellers, verify operation of the thruster switches. Next, open cylinder valve completely. Allow 30 seconds for pressure to build in system. The white flag should appear in system pressure gauge located on the dash. Inflate the internal air bladder until dump valve bleeds off. Next, feed second stage to the cockpit. Turn relief valve knob counterclockwise until air begins to escape. Then turn clockwise one half turn beyond point where air stops. Open pony bottle valve completely and check operation of second stage. Install quick release pins into the seat fairing.
Check the attachment of the seat and rear fairings to the frame. Loosen knee restraint thumb screws. Adjust the knee restraints in or out as required and tighten. In the unlikely event of a system's failure, switching to the pony bottle will be necessary. Turn around and pull tab on the strap. Purge, then breathe from second stage and make a slow ascent to the surface. Before charging the batteries, always remove the vent caps. A fully discharged battery will recharge to about 90% in the first hour. A full charge requires at least 13 hours of charging time.